There was this discussion online about if uh, Kamala Harris was faking her crowds with AI, and especially this tweet from Dinesh D'Souza. Check the reflection in the plane. Does this look like a real picture to you? And people were talking about, well, how is it possible that there's a crowd uh, right next to the plane and we cannot see any sort of people in the reflection. It seems like the tarmac is empty, like there's this empty space here. How can we have people r r right next to it? Maybe th this was Photoshop or something. But the problem is that this is not really a picture. This is a mm, video. I'm going to show you the video right now. It's this video right here. I'm going to see a couple things. And yes, the video is legit. I want to make it clear. I have analyzed the video both with uh, uh, my software and also by hand, frame by frame. And yes, I took a look at the reflection. I'm going to explain the reflection. And yes, this was a real crowd. Uh, Kamala Harris Camp claims that this was 10,000 people. I don't know if this is 10,000 people, certainly is in the thousands. I wouldn't say that it is uh, thousands, but the video is uh, real. What is going on with the reflection? How is it, is it possible that we have this, all these people that is actually there, and we have like uh, no reflection of no crowd in the engine. I'm going to try to explain it because it has an explanation. First, most important is the angle that we are looking at the engine, okay? The engine is not directly reflecting the crowd that we are seeing. And the way to understand it is this other clip right here. This clip, you can see a couple of things. This is from the plane and looking into the hangar. Okay, this is the hangar where uh, you know that this is the this is a take from inside the hangar, and this is from outside, and you can see clearly here that you have a big space. So you see this empty part of the tarmac, and then the crowd begins. Right, and that is easy to see in this in this angle. So when you go for it. That space that you see here, there's a huge space that are the SUVs, the uh, the, the motorcade of uh, Harris and Walls. There you see that space. That is the space that you're looking at here. That is this space. This is what you're looking at in this engine. The crowd is not actually, if it, the crowd is reflected, must be a really thin line. And because of the angle, that's why we are not seeing that. So be before you tell me, oh, Jesus, you're justifying Kamala's uh, crowds and stuff. You, you, you know that I do not fancy socialism, and I wouldn't like socialism to win in any country. But we need to be clear about this. Uh, there are many angles of Kamala arriving, and, well, the videos speak for themselves. It's like this one, another video, had various angles. It's not just one video. It's many of them, but you see a real crowd with actual real people. And it is it is not like that. It was a bit of a mess, by the way, because um, most people were brought in, in buses, in, in a bus. There's another, yet another video from inside the hangar, and you see exact same people, no this is not faked. Again, maybe this is not 10,000 people, but uh, the crowd is real. It is not AI. There's some pranksters, of course. There's always pranksters in on the internet that they made this, uh, the, the, the sort of uh, uh, removing people with AI. They uh, made, made this sort of uh, special effects video, adding people. But no, they, they, this was actually a prank, right? There was satire. In fact, it, it says in, in the corner, okay, this satire. Oh, look how easy it is. But no, it, it's, 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 it, this is actually a, a joke. You see how all of a sudden a big um, staircase appears here. 
But no, this is the real thing. Um, I want to say a couple things about this fact. There are a couple things that I need to talk, and especially um, I'm going to switch to uh, affinity to show, okay, this. You know that Donald Trump on, on Truth Social reacted to all this, uh, all this stuff, even if many accounts on X were trying to make it clear um, there's, there's enough like proof that the crowds were real, right? There was actual people there. And even so, Donald Trump made this post on Truth Social. Has anyone noticed uh, that Kamala cheated at the airport? There was nobody at the plane and she AI'd it and showed a massive crowd of so-called followers, but they didn't exist, in all caps. She was turned in by a maintenance worker at the airport when he noticed the fake crowd picture, but there was nobody there. He's saying that there was nobody there. Later confirmed by the reflection of the mirror like finish on the vice presidential plane. I already explained why you don't see the crowd in that reflection. Um, she had nobody waiting and the crowd looked like 10,000 people. Um, same thing is happening with her fake crowds as her speeches. Um... Well, maybe I haven't I haven't really taken a look at her crowds, at her speeches, but I know that people are trying to make this. Uh, I'm going to talk, talk about this uh, picture, by the way. Uh, people are trying to like broadcast or uh, broadcast is not a word. It's like to put these pictures out there, which are not really from uh, Kamala's camp, but someone put them out there. Making it seem like, oh, Kamala is faking uh, her crowds at the rallies as well. And, well, th these are very badly made uh, AI images. So, uh, those would be really easy to spot. It's the videos that you have to go through. And I can understand that many people saw this picture. This was released by uh, Harry's camp. And I can understand that since it feels so perfect in so many ways, okay, I could I can understand that it looks a bit uh, artificial, but that's, again, that's why I don't trust pictures that much. You know that they are easy to retouch. A video is not that easy to retouch. And no, we are not at that level of AI to have this kind of effect. Like, let's add a crowd like this. No, we are not there yet. But this, this, um, this looks uh, really retouched, maybe with a couple filters. So maybe that this is the first thing that trigger people. But no, this is the kind of things that whoever is um, advising Donald Trump of if he himself is doing this kind of uh, posts on Truth Social, uh, he's doing it wrong. I mean, because this, uh, on one hand, this um, uh, this erodes your credibility with uh, your more moderate fan base, especially because, and at the same time, you you are like how, making more passionate Kamala's fans about her because they knew they were there and they they read this. Donald Trump is saying that we did not exist, you know, Kamala's fans, and that will make them even more fierce for Kamala, right? So this is, like, wrong. Again, it, it's, it's not like I'm part of Donald Trump's uh, campaign or anything. I have absolutely nothing to do with uh, his team or anything, but I know for a, a fact that doing... This kind of things that claiming that there was zero crowd, nobody there, it was AI just by a couple pictures, a, a couple questions that people ask on the internet like this. Oh, the reflection is not there. And he just went and copy pasted that and made that 
Truth Social post, no, that is a big mistake. I don't know who is advising Donald Trump, but they are doing a very lousy job at that. And again, I, I don't like socialism. I don't want socialism in the United States. And that's why I'm trying to explain along my videos that if they keep focusing on these inconsequential things, then we could eventually be looking at an actual Harris POTUS. So uh, I know that many of you would be not okay with this, and many of you don't want socialism either for the United States, but I'm telling you that this is not the way, that there are many other ways to criticize someone, criticize a candidate, criticize their um, hypocrisy, for example, in which Donald Trump first said that he was going to remove tax and tips, then Kamala copied Donald Trump about that, and then a video surfaced in which, um, well, the actual taxing on taxes on tips uh, it was like tied. There's a video running on X. Maybe I will I will talk about that tomorrow, in which she was the signature that actually imposed those taxes and tips. So that's the kind of things that you have to point out. The stolen valor of uh, of Team Walls. That's the kind of things. That that's how you do things right. This is not 2016 anymore, but. I am just some I am just the messenger. Don't shoot me, okay? I'm just telling you what I'm seeing with my expertise. And yes, I even in the face of so many videos and so much proof that the crowds were real, there's still people denying what the videos from every single angle are telling the same story. So try try not to fall for this. Try not to fall for the AI train. And being a fanatic never helps anybody. Doesn't help you, doesn't help a candidate, doesn't help a country. You have to look at things the right way and try to... Maybe this is a distraction from Kamala's camp and Trump is falling for it. That can happen. That's part of the politics war. But... In general, what I want to do, what I really want to do with uh, this um, uh, kind of videos is try to make you think, try to you use uh, critical thinking for all this stuff, because we need to see things of both camps for what they are, and that's why I have to tell you that this is not the right approach. Whoever wants to uh, vote for Donald Trump, that's... Um, uh, they, they are free to do so. If you want to vote for Kamala Harris, you are free to do so. But uh, my interest, what I'm interested in is do you have the critical thinking tools to, well, think for yourself? Because reasoning is the only way that, it's the only thing that will set us really free. But I would love to know what you think about this in the comments. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Battle Language Guy. Much love and bliss.